Alright guys, today we're going to start off a new series that I like to call The Breakdown. Basically it's going to feature a new fighter for every single video that I feel is important enough to warrant making a video talking about the strategy and basically why you should use or shouldn't use a certain fighter for your band. So you're probably wondering why there's a Minati sitting on the screen and that would be because it is the first subject of the breakdown. So without further ado, let's go into analyzing it. Unati was first introduced in the PvP event Fool's Gold, which ran from September 4th to September 10th, 2013. In all honesty, it was a pretty good event. It featured the Grimpenius, Munati, Rillabroard, and Ender Saga lines. So it was a pretty awesome event. It was a PvP event, so it featured going through echelons, trying to get to the higher echelons in bracket battles. As you can see, the common form of Minati is called Hathli, the uncommon form of Minati is called Silni, and then, of course, the rare form is Munati, which is the one we'll be talking about. I feel like Munati is really important to make a video on because preempt dolls are slowly starting to die out in usefulness right now, and due to the general increase in HP and defense in even legendaries that we can see most recently being eras, uh, it it seems like it's important to figure out what's useful right now and take advantage of it before it becomes irrelevant. So, as follows, Munati is pretty important. It's a really, really cheap preempt, all typically having a price of around 9 to 11 bidders, 10 being usually what you can get one for, maxed out, 60 out of 60. So that's really nice, you can get those really easily, it's not hard to find all by any means. I think that the 2119 attack and 2208 agility is what earns it a spot in this series. It's a preempt all fighter, so basically you're going to be able to stomp through really easy cheap dungeons that are very very quick to get through but are definitely still worth getting through. You'll get back your 30 bidders in value in no time and yeah so your band will definitely need them if you're just getting into the game. If you have something like an Inzuna or an Atani Dusu or even a Dilgon or uh, Amaralis, you definitely won't need a Munati but they're nice for bands that are just getting into the game and don't quite know what to get to make their band better or be able to do dungeons or PvP. See, I know that it's a rare and a lot of people just look towards epics and legendaries as what they need to be getting now, but I think people overlook Munati because it's a rare and I don't feel like that's something that it's earned. I feel like uh, DNA really took that into account when they released Munati, especially because of Gold Fleece's success. Back in the day, Gold Fleece was a rare preempt all, and it isn't as good as something that was like a Dilgon or Tani Dusu, as I mentioned earlier, but it was still really, really good, especially with a decent gear, and it was very useful for a long time. They're pretty hard to find, and they were for a long time, so I think Munati was their way of re-releasing it, but not really re-releasing it at the same time. It didn't have the same stats and such. So, if you have a high-end band, this video really doesn't apply to you because, you know, you have a Dilgon or an Atani Dusu or an Inzuna or an Amaralis line, and you're like, why would I need this? Because my, my monsters have 5,000 attack each and 5,000 agility, and... You don't, but if you don't have a preempt line, or it's not an optimized band, and you don't even have anything that's very good, then this is the video for you. You definitely need to pick up a few Minotis for a line, because they're very, very good in dungeons and in PvP. They will carry you through PvP. Trust me, I had a line of these for a while before I picked up an Atani Dusu. So, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it, as always. Please click that subscribe button if you found this video very useful. Maybe the like button, too. I don't know. Just thank you very much for watching again, and...
Until next time.